It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and I'm back for another Eddie Hill review. And that music in the background has some meaning to this review. We are reviewing Transformers Beast Wars. It's review time, people. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I wanted to review these figures for so long since I've had them. And yes, these are Beast Wars Transformers. That I don't know the names to these Beast Wars items. But they're Beast Wars Transformers. And who doesn't like the Beast Wars? And I'm going to add one more to this review, even though it doesn't make sense for me to add a third one. We're going to add the Happy Meal Beast Wars item, because it's Beast Wars today. And I love some Beast Wars Transformers when I can find them for a good price and get my hands on them. First, we're going to look at is the Crab Beast Wars Transformer. And yes, these are mix missing the faction symbols. So I can't tell if they're Predacons or Maximals. If you know, leave me a comment. But I have heard of Beast Wars, and the only ones I know is Dinobot... Optimus Primal, Megatron, um, Waspinator, Rhinox, Rat Trap, Cheetor. But yeah, I'm just transforming it right now. I couldn't help but transform it because this is very simple to transform. And here we have the Crab figure from the Beast Wars toy line era. I don't know his name, but he's pretty sick. Look at that gun built into his claw. He can claw you and shoot you with that and go pew, 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 bang, bang. And his other claw has a shredder. So we can go shred some Maximals to pieces. Look at that. I think this guy would totally be a Predacon or a Maximal. I don't know. With the way he looks, he can easily be a Predacon. <laughs> and even if I don't know his name, he's pretty good looking. Because not all the Beast Wars Transformers had names that I knew very well. Because I never collected much of these. And here we have... A bug Beast Wars Transformer. And he is like a weird beetle, drill beetle insect. And you can totally have him, have him with the drill. And he can go hunt down the Predacon and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna drill you through. Uh, curse you, Maximal. But now we're gonna get down to transformation because these are so simple I actually love these and I just unpeg the arm it sometimes happens with this old school figure simple fix put it back in the ball joint and now we're gonna unpeg the arm we're gonna rotate that down and I just ump Egg this. <laughs> this is a pain in the neck when these pieces pop loose. I was lucky to get this figure used. 
and it's complete. Sure, it's missing, probably missing pieces, I don't know. But given I like Transformers, this guy was worth the pick up. There we got one little bug leg plugged in. A lot of pieces pop loose with this one. If I can get it back into place. There we go. Last but not least, we're going to fold this down somehow. I think we're going to fold the top end down. <laughs> Keep forgetting this has a top end. Because the hinge is right there. And we're going to fold down his legs and we're going to peg him in. Nice and secure-like. If I can get him pegged in. And boom! There we got the robot mode. Which is pretty cool. If I can straighten out his arm. Arm. And now we need to pull out his head. His head is in there good. Well, it's time I go into the weapon accessories bin and pull out this little Connectabots piece to flip out his head. It likes to get stuck in there. So, come on. Come on. Or maybe I can get it with my fingers. Maybe. And what do you know? We got it. I didn't have to use one of the accessories out of my accessory bin. And he kind of looks like with the whole drill arm, like one of those deep sea sea divers with those drill arms. Like he can totally pass for one of those and be like gonna drill through a Predacon like this. Take this with the drill and he's down for the count. <laughs> I love this figure. You're probably wondering if I don't know their names why am I reviewing them? Well I leave it up to you if you know to leave me a comment. If you know these bots exact name then please leave a comment. I will appreciate it. And look at the head on this guy. It's pretty cool. If I do say so myself, these guys are awesome. And now we're going to review the other Beast Wars item, and this is a original Happy Meal toy. And you know what he kind of looks like in his panther mode? He looks like Ravage. Beast Wars Ravage. And given they never made a figure of him, this is the closest I'm going to get to them. That's pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Definitely going on my favorites list. Of figures I own. Beast Wars items. And I, ha I have had these for a very long time. Sorry about that folks. I had to correct myself. My autism was having a bit of a mental issue in the brain area. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's my uh, states of mind that get the better of me, like having to correct myself or making a mistake with what I'm saying out loud. It happens. You're probably wondering where could you find these figures? You probably find them right on eBay or something. Maybe. But given I've wanted to do these figures for a very long time, I'm glad I am doing these. Sorry if I couldn't help but put the song into the video. It was well worth it. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.